What's going on OmniBuddies? Mitch here and today we we're gonna do a little OmniBuddy unboxing. All right, so I'm super excited for this. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know that one of the one of my favorite publishers that I have gotten addicted to is called Magnetic Press. And one thing that they love to do is Kickstarters. And so they kickstart a ton of European comics that are like highly uh, loved, have huge accolades, uh, tons of awards and things like that and they're in French, Spanish, all these uh, non-English languages. And sadly, I'm not bilingual. I maybe speak a little bit of broken Spanish, but that's about it. And it's not good enough to be reading the whole comic in. So I can't read any of those stories. So what is awesome is they are bringing those super cool, highly acclaimed stories from Europe mostly, and they are translating them to English and they are bringing them to us and they back them, uh, they bring them to us through Kickstarter and after they're kickstarted they usually have a ton of them available uh, through their web store uh, if you're interested in that uh, you can uh, follow the description of my channel and I have a link there you can uh, follow my code it supports my channel and it gets you uh, I believe it's 20% off your first purchase at Magnetic Press so you can get these books too through them. Super cool affiliate program, uh, referral program, all that. Uh, gain points through Kickstarters and then you can cash out those points. I just did that for a couple books and basically only had to pay shipping and it was basically free books for me. So that was super cool. But I've been waiting for this book for a while. So we are going to dig into it and check it out. And they use, um, uh, a fulfilling service fulfillment service um, what are they called they are oh man I'm blanking on the name uh, let's see what it is uh, quartermaster that's what it is got really lazy about covering up my address on here and just uh, put some sticky notes on there so that worked out nicely actually so then I can see when I forgot because um, it's late at night and my brain's tired and that's when I get to record anyways uh, Let's not cut towards me because my brain's tired. There we go. All right, so they use Quartermaster and haven't had a problem with them yet. So that's pretty cool. And we are gonna dig into it. Boom, boom. Fair amount of packing in there, so that's pretty cool. Open that thing up and let's see. Just lost the light, whatever. Anyways. Ooh, we got a ton of prints uh, and some other uh, Kickstarter stuff. So we are going to, let's put this down real quick. Ugh. Let's look at the first prints. So this is, I haven't even said what this is yet. So this is Carbon Gray. Uh, and what was cool about this Kickstarter is that it was uh, uh, their first RPG board game Kickstarter that they did. And they actually launched a new service uh, that's a whole like board gaming section of their site kind of like an affiliate company sister company that they're doing a whole ton of board games through I like board games I just don't have a lot of people uh, around that like playing board games so I didn't I, I decided not to back the board game set uh, but it's all based around the book and the book is carbon gray so let's get got a ton of prints here let's see get that going Let's print one. This is really nice paper too, like really thick. Got that uh, really nice, uh, I don't know if you can see it on there, kind of that uh, uh, um, textured paper, linen textured paper, really nice. So cool, it's like a uh, very steampunk kind of design. I haven't read a lot of steampunk design uh, books so pretty cool i'm pretty excited to dig into it uh, and as per usual uh, i just go well it's magnetic press so i know that a lot of what they do is super high quality stuff my only complaint with magnetic press is the stories aren't long enough for me i want them to be like two or three times as long because i want to stay in that world and dive deep into those stories but i'd rather be left in wa left wanting more than 
being uh, done before I'm even done reading the story. So that's not a bad problem for me to have at least. Uh, so yeah, this is a ton of good Kickstarter stuff that they do. Uh, what's great, most of the time their Kickstarters are basically fully funded within like, usually it seems like a half hour now lately. Jeez, there are so many prints that you would get through this. Holy cow. Another one. And a lot of these are, they come with prints and then they do like a, if you uh, put your email in on their site and you say you're gonna back in the first day, then you get another print there, and then you get a print for backing the first day also. And then there's uh, a print for each week, because usually they're about a month long. And then there's prints along the way as uh, stretch goals, and jeez, you get so many cool prints. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these prints, but you know what? Not a bad problem to have, especially because they don't take up place space. Boom. Very cool. And then we will get into this. We got a really nice little patch on here. Come on, focus up, there we go. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce what that says. Uh, and then, ooh, I forgot about this. Really cool little pin. Really nice. I love these kind of backer things that they do with these little pins and then, when they first started doing this, I was like, that's so weird and dumb and I didn't like it. I'm like, it just adds extra weight and it's extra stuff. But man, I have really fallen in love with them doing this. They do almost every Kickstarter, it seems like, uh, they do one of these. And it used to be just, just for the Kickstarter, now they do it as stretch goals. But they do these little, well not little, but these nice, uh, challenge coins come on there we go really cool challenge coins uh, and I had every single challenge coin except for Paris 2119 and I was super bummed that I did not have that one so I had to actually pick it up off of uh, I think it was I think I got it off eBay or Mercari or something like that this one oh wait I think this one actually this one move I think this one, uh, oh no wait, that's a uh, Lupin, Arson Lupin. I think that challenge coin has like some kind of uh, cipher section on it. But so now I have all the challenge coins I picked up uh, now that I have that uh, Paris 2119. I don't even know where it is in here, it's somewhere around here. But now I have all the challenge coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine challenge coins. And we got a few more coming because I have the Arsene Lupin, the Ogre Gods. Uh, there's one other one that I, I'm blanking out on the name of. There's so many Kickstarters that they've been doing. And what's cool is because, uh, because they're shipping all this other stuff that's not books, they can't do media mail. They got to do priority. So it can be, you know, 12 to 18 bucks for shipping. But what's cool is they have started uh, just pounding out these Kickstarters. And uh, like I have three Kickstarters that are all being shipped together in one huge box. So it all gets shipped together and you save on shipping a ton that way, which is super cool. You still get all your uh, uh, affiliate ambassador points is what they call it on their website. So those get added to your account and you can use them all up. I had like 13, a uh, thousand, I think, ambassador points, something like that. So I spent uh, 5,000 of them and got, uh, I think it was, what was it? Um, Zalia, was it Zalia? I think it was Zalia, yeah, that I bought um, the limited slipcase edition off of there. Basically got it for free, paid like 10 bucks shipping. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, oh man, this book is beautiful. All right, so here is the Carbon Gray here, I'll get that, get that bad boy in focus. And this has really cool, try and get it in focus. It's got that uh, same kind of uh, textured, linen texture kind of feel to it. You can kind of hear it. Yeah, super cool. Uh, all right, so let's get, get it right side up. There's the, there's the uh, spine. I'll show you that again. It's got that spot gloss, UV gloss on there, super cool. And then there's the back. 
And then of course they got those rounded corners. Can't have bumped and dinged corners if you don't have corners, you guys. It's genius. Anyways, uh, super cool. Ooh, some nice end sheets. Very excited about that. Uh, whoa, this art is super cool. That's the other thing about backing all these Kickstarters is you totally forget what was in these books. And when you read the descriptions, you, by, the, by the time you get your Kickstarter, it's months and months later. I mean, some Kickstarters I've been waiting on for a couple of years now. Um, so you totally forget about what it's about. Um, so it's, you know, you get the hype of, uh, should I back it? You back it. And then you get the hype of following it as it's being backed and then it gets backed. And then you're following the updates, whether it's, you know, every few weeks or months or whatever. And then finally you get it ships and then you get it and then you get to open it up and then you finally get to read it and you've forgotten all about it. Um, <laughs> except for that you're super excited for it. But man, this art, holy cow, you guys, look at this art. Wow. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, book looks great. Came in pretty good condition. And yeah, it's got, how many pages is this? This is a fair amount of pages to the story. 287 pages plus a bunch of extras at the end. Uh, very excited to read this. So, uh, oh, and it's got the uh, ribbon bookmark in there, which I believe maybe that was a, maybe that was a back stretch goal. I don't know. Um, very excited. So I know that if you, you can buy the RPG game and it's very, it's all set in the same universe, same characters and all that. Uh, so it tells a whole bunch of the story, uh, but the story is standalone also. They just built the game around it, I believe is how it worked. Uh, very cool, very excited. I'm gonna give this a read, and after I give it a read, I will definitely do an overview of it to let you know uh, what I thought of it. And obviously I'm gonna love the art. The art <laughs> looks incredible and very excited for some steampunk goodness. And she looks BA, I gotta say super cool looking anyways um that's it uh man I'm so excited uh that's it remember to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications do all those things if you're really interested in uh magnetic press and a bunch of their other stuff man i got a whole ton of magnetic press now boom all these books are all magnetic press i'm going to be ordering a few more i got a few more coming in from kickstarter i'm getting a huge magnetic press uh bookshelf going on anyways Super cool. That's it. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. What are you backing on Kickstarter? There's a ton of cool Kickstarters going on uh, lately. It seems like with Digger and a couple other really cool ones going on right now. So if you came across a cool collective edition Kickstarter, let me know in the comments because I am always eyeing those really big in this whole Kickstarter thing. Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.